So if you want to inject yourself in an AI generation and create AI portraits of yourself like these, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Let's dive in. So first you will need at least about 10 to 20 pictures of yourself from different angles in different lighting conditions. So I have some pictures of myself here, about 20 images. And if you go and look at it, they are in different outfits, different poses, different angles. And uh, I took some images with my camera at the last moment so I can show my features to the AI model so that it can understand how do I look like. So once you have about 20 images of yourself from different angles, open this notebook. Now this fast dream booth notebook here is a special notebook because right now I'm connected to a system that is Nvidia a 100 GPU with 84 gigabytes of Ram basically, but it will also run for the free tier as well. If you are subscribed to Google pro plus account, it will be faster, but if you are not, then it will be slower for you, but this method will still work. So when you come here, you have to first run this cell. This cell basically connects your Google drive to this notebook. So go ahead and run that. And it's going to ask you to connect your Google drive. It will again take five, 10 minutes and it will finish running the dependency. Then click run dependency It's going to run. Basically, this is the most simplest method that you can use. When you open the notebook, your notebook won't have any text here. Part to the hugging face where you actually have to paste this. So basically copy this runway ML stable diffusion and then paste here. If you want to know what that is, this is what it is. Runway ML has this stable diffusion 1.5 version model that we are downloading. And then basically we are using that trained model and just inserting our face into the stable diffusion. So when you ask that, Oh, what, I look like in an AI version, it will be able to show you. Now, one important step that I missed that is super crucial is to name your images. So if I come here and if you look at all of those images, they have a special name. That's my first and last name combined part the way. And then it has individual unique identifier. Try to name your images something unique. Let's say your name is John. That's very common. Don't name that maybe combine your first and last name together and add some random characters to it just to make it special. So that keyword gets assigned to your image. Now, once you download the model and so once you paste this here, just you have to click here and click run. So it's going to take a good 10, 15 minutes, depending upon how fast the internet is, it will take some time to run. Once it finishes running, you have to come here and you have to run this. Now you can name the session, whatever you want. I generally name it my name as well. So come here and I type it out part and then I click run and it will create a session. Now in order to understand what this code is, you have to wait for a second, just click all of these cells run and let them run. And you will see what, and you will see in a minute, why am I doing that? Now coming to this important cell instance of images. So what does this cell do? Run the cell to upload the instant pictures here. So basically you have to come here and select what is the size of the images. So remember I told you, you need about 20 images of yourself. All of these images I have formatted in a proper shape. So if I'm changing the images that you can see, none of the images are changing the overall shape. They are 512 by 512. So you come here and you select 512 by 512 and then you start to upload. So when you click instance image, it will ask you to upload all of these images and then come here and click training. Now, when I come here and click training, it will not take that much time because I'm running on Nvidia a 100. My memory is unbelievably 84 gigabytes. So it is super fast. So it's not going to take more time for me, but I think if you're on a free tier, it's going to take almost one hour, 20 minutes or so to finish training. Once you have finished a training, it will actually save the file in your Google collab. So in my Google collab, it created a new folder called fast dash dream booth. And under sessions, it had my model. This is my sessions name basically. And then here, 
this is the CKPT checkpoint file. This is your model. This is about two gigabytes. Let me see. Yeah, two gigabytes. And then when you come here and once you finish training, you can click here, test the train model and it will generate a link here for you. If you click on this link, so this is a web user interface where you can come and start creating images. So for example, I want to see how a blue car looks. I can just say blue car. So let's say I want to come here and see how a blue car looks. I can come here, B L U E blue car. And there you go. Click generate. When you click generate, it is actually running that here. And then there you go. That's your blue car but I want to see how do I look like. So I'm going to come here and type the exact name that I named all of my images. So it was my first and last name, P-A-R-T-H-D-A-V-E. And then I'm just going to say image of part W and click generate. And let's see how cool my images look like. And there you go. Uncanny similarity. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty decent. And if you play around with the parameters here, sampling steps, it will get better. One good example is Lexia. So if I go to Lexia AI and then try to get a prompt. So I'm just going to search for like a famous person. So let's say Obama. So I'm going to search for it and probably I'm going to get like a lot of images. So I like this style. So I'm just going to come here, copy prompt, go to my stable diffusion Excel web UI and paste it there. So instead of Barack Obama, we're going to change it to my name in space and then generate. Now it's going to take a little bit of time. Let me put myself here. And there you go. I am wearing a astronaut's helmet. That's pretty decent. And you can play around with the guidance scale is seven resolution is this much. So you can come back here and then you can change the scale to, yeah, it is seven. You can re increase it and then generate. We'll see how good of an image it generates. Let's say I want to increase the height and then generate. And it's going to generate an image that is, oh, I have two of my faces now. So there you go. Let's say increase the width too and then click generate. I have four of myself now. So you have to play around with it. These are some of the images that I was able to generate with this approach. Feel free to share your work in the description as well. If you get stuck somewhere, please comment it down because I went through a hell trying to figure this out. So I understand and I will try my best to help you out. But if you like the content, consider subscribing and stick around for the newsletter as well. See you in the next video.